Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our morning inspiration, Monday, February 26, 2024. May the good Lord be with you today, and may His face continue to shine upon you and give you peace. Our reading today comes to us from a very famous passage. It is Hebrews chapter 11, reading verses 1 to 10, and this is what it says. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were formed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gift, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God has translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith, Abram, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance, Obey, and we, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, who builder and maker is God. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word. And this book, we oftentimes call it the all of faith because it speaks about some heroes of faith. Those who have displayed faith in questionable circumstances. And it spoke about persons like Noah, Abraham, Abel, Enoch, and the list goes on. These persons displayed faith when the situation did not make any sense at all. Let's take for example Noah. When God told Noah to build an ark, he told Noah that look here, there's gonna be a flood on the land because of the wickedness of man I will destroy the earth. Now this is a strange statement coming to Noah because Noah had never seen a flood neither have he ever seen rain. So for God to say that a flood or water is going to cover the entire earth, it just seems so mind-boggling. But nevertheless, Noah stepped out in faith because he knew that God is God. And therefore, if God said that it's going to rain, well, let us prepare for rain. Let us build this boat. And so he built the boat. And of course, the neighborhood all laugh Noah and his family to scorn because they just thought that what he was doing was just crazy. This guy deserved to be in a mad house because how is he gonna build this big boat? Where is it gonna sail? On dry land? But did Noah's faith paid off? That's the question. Yes, it did as you and I well know. The flood came and unfortunately only Noah and his family was saved. Then we move to Abraham. God called him to leave his hometown to go to another place that he knows nothing of. So he's going to step out in the middle of nowhere in a manner of speaking. Trusting God that God will give him direction, right? A lot of us sometimes we, we are stuck and we refuse to move because we are afraid that we won't receive anything in return. We are afraid that we are going to give up everything for nothing. But when it comes on to God, you will never give up 
something for nothing. You are giving up something for something better. That's how God works. And so if God calls you to move, you just got to move. It doesn't matter how the situation may look. It doesn't matter if it looks like it's just crazy and impossible. That's the perfect avenue for God to work. God is a God of possibilities. Man's impossibility is God's possibilities. And so there's nothing that God cannot do. And that is why you and I must learn to trust God. Even when the situation seems grim and seems like it makes no sense at all. That's the perfect time to trust Him. Because then He will prove to you who is the ruler of the universe. Who is God? Who is the savior of this world? Who is the God? Who is who He is? And then you will understand that God is not a figment of your imagination. So he will not leave you in the dark. Okay? And so the Bible tells us that, you know, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now you may ask, what is faith? We keep talking about this thing. What is faith? Well, what did the Bible say? Or what is the Bible saying? The Bible says that what? Faith is what? Is the substance of what? Things hoped for and what? The evidence of what? Things not seen. What is faith? Evidence of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. So in other words, it is receiving the thing before you receive the thing. If that makes any sense to you. So you ask for a car. You prayed and you said to the Lord, Lord, you see my situation. Oh, I have to travel, you know, from point A to point B and oh, taxing it is on me, on my family. And I would like you to provide us with a car, provide us with the funds so that we can get the car. And you pray believing. Now, this is the, the part that you need to pay attention to. You pray and after, while you're praying, you're claiming the car. You don't see the money for the car yet, you know. You don't even know where you're going to buy the car yet. But you are claiming the car. You are visioning the car, parking in your driveway. You are envisioning God coming through for you. So in other words, you receive the gift even though it's still a far way off or you can't see it as yet. That is faith. Believing when you can't see. Receiving when you don't see. So you are open and praying that God will answer your petition and believing that he will answer your petition according to his will. And that is a part that you need not to miss according to his will because a lot of time we pray and we believe and because we did not receive we get upset with God but we should not be upset with God there must be a reason why God didn't give you the gift or give us the gift maybe he's saying Ryan now is not the time for this gift or he's saying Ryan you need a little bit more patience Ryan you need a little bit more patience. Ryan, you need to take your mind off earthly things and focus more on spiritual things. Maybe he's saying, Ryan, you need to trust me more. We don't know what the lesson is. Maybe he's saying, just wait a little longer or I can't give it to you because this is going to bring you much sorrow. And so I cannot put you in that position. We don't know. And so we must not give God attitude when God doesn't come through or we expect him to come through. Because God in his wisdom know exactly what he's doing. And so don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. There's a quote that says, all things work together for good for those that love the Lord or for those that do his will. So if you didn't get it or you get it, it means therefore that it will work for your good. And that God see where it will be beneficial at this point. And so that is why you have been granted that. And so let us understand that faith in the life of a Christian is priceless. And is a commodity that we cannot afford not to have. And keep in mind that faith and hope, it goes hand in hand. They work together like brothers and sisters right because a hopeless man 
is already a dead man. Nobody can live without hope. Let us take God at his word. Let us trust him. In scripture, he tells us that. Ask anything according to my will and I will grant it unto you. This is a promise that he makes to us. Don't you believe God's words? Don't you believe that he will bless you as he said that he will or he would? He said in his word also that not one word will return unto him void. So we need to claim these promises. They are not there for decoration and to make us feel good. That's not their purpose. Their purpose is to keep reminding us that God is there for us. And as he promised in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So there's hope. There's hope for you. There's hope for me. Claim the blessing. If you need a job, pray and ask God for the job. If you need a car, pray and ask God for the car. If it is a husband or a wife you need, pray and ask. Whatever it is that you need, God in his wisdom will grant you that gift as he see where it will glorify him. Okay? So don't be afraid to ask God anything. And whatever answer you get, praise be the name of the Lord. Give God the praise. Don't go in a corner and sulk. Yes, I know sometimes it will be disappointing, but remember that God knows what is best. Maybe you ask for $50,000 and the Lord say, I can't give it to you now because I'm going to give it to you now and somebody is going to rob you shortly after that for the $50,000 and take your life. And so to preserve your life, I'm going to hold off a little longer before I give it to you or whatever. And that's just an extreme case. But I'm just putting the example out there so you understand that God never make a mistake. So we just need to trust him. Claim his promises. Just like Noah did. Believing that there would be a flood even though he, he never see the flood. And so he stepped out in action and built the ark preparing for the flood. And yes, the flood did came. Abraham, he stepped out in faith to an unknown country and God multiplied his blessing. Abel, because of his faith in God, God rewarded his sacrifice and blessed him. And the list goes on. So let us understand that it is important to us that we believe. It is important that we trust God because as the scriptures say, without faith in our lives, we can't please God. And if we want to please God, then we need to believe. We need to understand that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So may God continue to bless you and may God continue to show you favor. And may His face continue to shine upon you and give you the desires of your heart according to His will. Amen. Have a wonderful day.